my name is Heather Smith and uh, we're running some free online training in Xero today and today we're looking at reconciling bank accounts in Xero. just want to highlight that. Look. Oh, that's... I just want to highlight uh, that I'm a Zero Certified Advisor and if you need any assistance to contact me at Heather Smith Small Business. So here we are looking at the dashboard of Zero, and uh, I'm interested in reconciling my bank accounts today. Now the reason that we reconcile our bank accounts is to ensure that what is actually happening in our business bank accounts is being reflected in our accounting solution. So this means you need to ensure, for, for, for greatest accuracy and usability, you need to ensure that all of your business accounts are set up in zero. That can be business bank accounts, business uh, credit card accounts, and business PayPal accounts are set up in zero. And you need to try and avoid making any uh, additional expenditure via cash outside of these business accounts so that we can go, okay, if everything is reconciled up to date, then all the transactions related to the business are in the accounting solution. And then when we look at the reports, uh, they are going to be far more reliable than if we have transactions going all over the place. So when I reconcile an account, uh, I've just got a rough thing that I'm just jumped up over here. We recognize, uh, we recognize any money received. We identify any unpresented checks. Not that people use many checks these days, but if the business bank account, say maybe said $10,000 and there was an unpresented check out there for $9,000, then in reality we only have about $1,000 which we uh, should be accessing. Reconciling the accounts helps you identify fraud and the quicker you react to any fraudulent activity, the more likelihood you have of uh, sorting the issue out and uh, getting the money returned to you. Reconciling the accounts assists in identifying errors and likewise dealing with those errors. I know some of my clients found that uh, they had duplicate uh, insurance payments going out of their uh, bank accounts and, and the reconciliation actually assisted them in identifying this. A reconciliation ident assists you in recognizing any bank charges or bank interest. I should put bank interest there. And it assists you in ensuring that your records are complete, which is what I started this, this discussion talking about. So here we have the dashboard again, and what I want to do is very easily, very quickly, you can pop over here and you see uh, this blue highlighted button and it says reconcile, reconcile. So this actually identifies what is not currently uh, reconciled within the account and means that I can drill down and go and do the reconciliation. Now, it may interest you to know that if you uh, have your Xero account linked with an advisor, such as someone like myself, then I, uh, when I go and look at my business dashboard, when I go and look at uh, my, my client dashboard, I can actually see if you have not been recently reconciling your accounts and I can actually see this, that button as well and maybe I get in touch and say, hey, we need to reconcile some accounts here or is there an issue, do you need some help? So I'm going to click on 48 items and it comes through to uh, this more detailed reconciling account area. At the very top, there is some additional support from Xero. It is uh, getting started with bank reconciliation support window that you can go through, uh, read to further understand what's going on. And there's also a link to further online help, which if I click on that very quickly, pops you through to this area that you might become familiar with, this burnt orange background themed area, 
with lots of information about uh, various things and links through to other support notes as you work through it. Popping back into my bank reconciliation, I pop down here. Now let's highlight what's going on here. So this is actually the main area. On the left hand side, this is the bank feed or the imported bank transactions of the business, of, of the bank account. Okay, so this has come in. This over here, this is actually this is actually what was actually in zero. So maybe transactions we had already entered in zero, uh, maybe invoices that we have raised with zero, and what it has tried to do is go through and identify possible <coughs> matches, suggestions of possible matches, thus increasing uh, your productivity. Now I have used numerous accounting systems and I find this uh, reconciliation saves a massive amount of time. So when you are considering the uh, subscription and whether it's a good value or not, simply getting these reconciliations down, the time I save doing reconciliations is, is, is just phenomenal. So I highly recommend it just simply on that, that, that basis. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, over on the right hand side, I have four tabs across the top here. I have, well, if I actually start back over here, as I said, from the bank statement, what's in zero? This is the transaction from the bank statement. I have the option to delete it if I thought that it was actually incorrect. I have the option to click here on more to find out actually more transactional information about it. I imagine as bank accounts, uh, bank institutions uh, become more in tune to what the businesses need, they'll be able to actually provide further information at this point and uh, just make everything more user friendly and, and uh, quicker for us. Uh, now close that down and here I have the opportunity to create rules which I'm not going to do at this stage but then the area that I'm going to spend most of my time in tabs across the top, match, create, transfer, discuss. So here, uh, let's see which is a good one to match. I'll try that one then. See if, see if it works for me, it might not. NAB auto pay and I'm going to click find and match. And what that does is it will pop down here and open up an area for me to find and select possible matching transactions. So what I would probably do is uh, type in maybe over on the side option here, NAB, and I'll do a search. And it's going to highlight any possible uh, transactions there. Now, these look like bank charges. This looks too large to be a bank charge, looks actually like uh, maybe payroll, maybe a payroll. So I don't think that that's relevant, so maybe I don't actually have the information. So I'm going to click cancel and I'm going to pop down and find one that's actually uh, a good one to match using that option. So if I keep popping down, I know there's one in here. Hmm. So you know, notice that I can actually pop through pages and I've got uh, five pages to pop through. <laughs> ah, this one, this one I, I'm, I'm going to have a go at matching. So, oh, and it's already got an option there to match that up against that one there. Um, A lot of them have already gone through a match, but I'm going to Okay, I've actually found one here and you can see here it says Yara Transport and no option came up here, so I'm going to click on match, then click on find and match and uh, I come over to the right hand side and do a search for match options and click go and this one has actually popped up which is 5th of September Yara Transport looks very relevant there so I'm going to um, click that click that 
and you can see it's popped up down the bottom here that it's reconciled, reconciled, and I'm happy with that. And you see that I have the options to do further adjustments if necessary or add additional things there, but no, that's fine with me. And I'm just going to click reconcile there and um, that has sorted itself out, which is sensational. Now, I'm going to pop back to page one and what I want to do is now go to the next tab along and explain the next tab along, which is NAB AutoPay. And uh, this, I'm going to put in the name here, being NAB, and in the payroll, I think this is related to wages, so I'm just going to pop in, uh, maybe related to a particular person's wages. So. We'll just put it in there as wages and highlight there the description as wages. It's come through as, it's automatically come through as GST exempt, which it means it's not reportable on the uh, BAS in terms of GST, which is correct. It has an option here for me to tag a consultant to it, but I, I won't tag a consultant to that also has an option here for me to add further details if I was in a situation that I perhaps wanted to uh, maybe uh, add some further information there. But I'm not. I'm going to click Save Transaction and I'm going to click Reconcile. So that now has reconciled. So we have done Match. We have done Create. We have an option, let's see if we can find one that's relevant to transfer. We've got so many transactions here. Uh, let's go a bit further. So this one here is an e-bank deposit, a direct deposit of $1,000. And we're going to say that this came from Ridgeway Savings Account. So any bank accounts, credit card accounts, or PayPal accounts would be here. And this is where we would say the transfer happens from. And we have the option to hover over the OK button, click on it, and then the transaction disappears of the reconciliation area. And you'll notice that it highlights in the top tabs up here, we now only have 45 uh, transactions to code or reconcile. So we come across this transaction, it's 7-11, it's 15-50. We may not know what we actually should do with it. So then we highlight, we can come over to this very fourth tab and click on Discuss and say, Heather, uh, um, this was a personal expense. What should I do with, with it? Then the advisor, who can also access your Xero system, can come in and uh, see this. You'll click Save, see this, and they'll actually come in and they can click on Create, and they uh, may come in and use, this looks like we've got a rule here, um, and, and, and allocate it accordingly. And they can sort out that particular transaction. So you notice if I pop back to um, page one again that many uh, transactions, see this particular transaction here, it's come up NAB 1050. On the other hand, other side, it highlights in green when it thinks it has matched a transaction for you, which is really useful. And so you think, okay, yep, that's correct. It also highlights in this hyperlink blue another possible match found. If you click on that, you'll see that the other possible matches come up and they're both, now what do they have in common? They have in common that they're both $10.50, but one is Parkside Kiosk and one is NAB. So far more likely to be the NAB one than the Parkside Kiosk one. But you may be in a situation that you actually want to check that as you go through. Okay, so, uh, we're okay with that. We think that that's all gone okay. And we're gonna click okay. Brilliant. So, um, we have looked 
at the bank reconciliation. We've looked at this side, uh, which is the bank accounts being imported in. And then on the right hand side, we looked at matching the transactions in zero. I want to also highlight this, uh, which is a useful little trick. We have received $1,100. Uh, what's that? Is that right? We have received $1,100 from Boom FM. And if I click Find and Match, pop down here, type in the name Boom. Oops. Click on Go. And it will actually highlight that I have uh, this transaction here, which is actually outstanding, $1,231.67. So I click on it, and when I click on it, what hops up, pops up is the uh, word split. And I click split, and I go, okay, well, we receive $1,100. I'm going to click split. It has split the transaction out. I've got the 1,100 there, which I'm happy with. I pop down the bottom here, or in fact, before I pop down the bottom here, I just want to highlight to you, if I just untick that, if I highlight to you that it's actually got this red, total is out by 1,100. I click on this one here, and I reconcile. So that has now reconciled that. And you may be interested to know, if I come back into uh, my, my, my dashboard, I come back into my dashboard and I look at my accounts receivable and Boom FM is still owed $131.67. So I didn't close it off. What I did was applied $1,100 against it. So what we have done uh, in this short session is we have looked at our bank, reconciling our bank accounts. And we have looked at the tabs match, create, transfer and discuss. So my name is Heather Smith. Please visit me at heathersmithsmallbusiness.com for further assistance.